Halloween is right around the corner, it's obviously time to start thinking about those Halloween parties. My birthday is on Halloween, so growing up I never really got to have parties on Halloween, so now that I'm older, it's more exciting. Pretty much there are three things that go into the perfect Halloween party. The first one, of course, is costumes. The best costumes are things that you make from scratch, not the things that you buy. For example, just looking around here, I could see some materials I could use for costumes. You could wrap some toilet paper around yourself and then you become a mummy. You could take that toilet paper and wet it and stick it against your face so it looks like flesh is peeling off and then you have a zombie. You could take a mop head, put that on your head like a wig, and then walk around with a broom and all of a sudden you are a witch. You could put a garbage bag over your body and cut out holes for your eyes and then you're a ghost. It would probably work better with white bags. If you want to use your imagination, you can even be this guy. And look at this. I have the perfect outfit for an art major post-college. The second thing you need for a successful Halloween party is games. Of course you could use the traditional beer pong and flip cup. But nothing says fall holiday like bobbing for apples. I mean, what's not to love about it? You have dozens of people sticking their faces into a small tub of water trying to stick their mouth on an apple. Whoever thought of that game is a genius. Remember to fill the container with water. Vodka is never a good thing to dunk your head in. <laughs> oh, I think I'm getting choked through my hands. It might actually be better to inject the vodka into the apples. Shockingly, I don't remember much from that night. You could play this game where you put a fake cockroach on top of a cupcake and a real dead one on top of one of them and see who gets the surprise. Or you could play the game that everyone else really likes playing, which is everyone make fun of the janitor. Just be sure that whatever games you play, there's a lot of liquor involved. The final thing you need for the perfect Halloween party is ambiance. There are a lot of things that go into perfect ambiance. Music, decorations. Actually, I think that's about it. Be sure there is close to no light anywhere. The party should almost be in complete darkness. Save time in decorating by having your guests carve jack-o'-lanterns at the party. And the only songs you need are Thriller and The Monster Mash, playing on repeat for the whole entire night. So let's review. So you've got a bunch of people in costumes. They're all completely drunk out of their mind, submerging their heads in buckets of water, in a completely dark room, using sharp utensils to carve pumpkins. Yeah, sounds like nothing could go wrong, really. Dude, we lit his cat on fire. Quick, find some water. Oh, bobbing for apples. No, 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 don't use the apple water. Don't use the apple water. <laughs>